Welcome again. Today we examine 5.2.1. Describe two direct methods of monitoring pollution. Today we consider just one of those two methods, the use of conductivity measurements in aquatic systems. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, conductivity is a measure of the ability of water to pass an electric current. Conductivity in water is affected by the presence of inorganic dissolved solids such as chloride, nitrate, sulfate and phosphate but it's also affected by sodium, magnesium, calcium, iron and aluminum. Organic compounds like oil, phenol, alcohol and sugar do not conduct electric current. They get added to systems they can even lower the conductivity. So conductivity is a useful general measure of stream water quality. Each stream tends to have a relatively constant range of conductivity that once established over a long period of monitoring can be used as a baseline for comparison with regular conductivity measurements and any significant change in this pattern could be an indicator that a discharge or some other source of pollution has entered a stream. Discharges to streams can change the conductivity depending upon their makeup. For example, a failing sewage system would raise the conductivity because of the presence of chloride, phosphate, and nitrate, whereas an oil spill would lower the conductivity. So while conductivity measurements don't quantify direct amounts of ions, they can be a useful measure of indicating whether a system is undergoing some kind of change which may very well be due to some source of pollution. In this experiment, our uncalibrated conductivity meter when placed in the still water gives a reading of 5.4 microsiemens. The distilled water is then allowed to drain through two funnels, one containing organic material and the other containing a piece of filter paper. Upon testing the conductivity of the filtrate from the empty funnel, there is a change from 5.4 to 22.1 micro siemens per centimeter. The filtrate from the soil funnel, however, shows a conductivity of 250.7 micro siemens per centimeter, a significant difference owing to the presence of leached ions, ions that were washed out of the soil in this simple experiment. Consider this body of water. In June 2009, the conductivity of this river was 780 microsiemens per centimeter. Later that year, a chicken farm was established upstream from the point of measurement. The next year, the conductivity of the river was recorded at 1130 microsiemens per centimeter. Two things to note were that the flow rate and the temperature were similar to the 2009 values. Terracing, an important strategy in soil conservation. A student wanted to compare the effectiveness of two soil conservation models by measuring the amount of soil washed into a model river. So just how he could use a conductivity meter to collect data for this investigation list the key controlled variables in his investigation and finally evaluate the use of a conductivity meter in measuring pollution of rivers and lakes.